Hello guys, Liza Hudson from ConversionWise here and today this is going to be a very, very quick video about social proof. So before I jump into the topic of the day, as always, I have a couple of announcements. If you're currently watching us from YouTube and you've just joined us, thank you uh, for coming to our channel. And if you are not a member of our Facebook group, then make sure you uh, click the link underneath this video and ask to join. It is completely free. Um, in this community, you'll find loads of useful tips and tricks, like-minded people. Plus you can get free audits and all kinds of other good stuff in there. And guys, if you're currently watching us from from the community and you haven't subscribed to our channel, please make sure you click subscribe. The more interaction we get, the more we can get these videos out. We always try to get at least sort of one video out a week to you guys. So today I wanted to talk to you very, very briefly about social proof. Now, the reason for this is, is twofold. So I see a lot of sites and pages coming through without any. And also I was in a group the other day and there was a, a, a quite lively debate going on about whether social proof is still a key component version principle. And I'm here to say today from our perspective, 100% it absolutely is. If you are not utilizing social proof um, at all, then you have a problem. Um, but also you need to use it correctly. So what I've got is some real life examples up here and a mock-up page to kind of go through with you. Um, I cannot undervalue or uh, yeah, I can't undervalue the power of social proof as a conversion principle. And a lot of the time we hear things like, oh, I don't have any reviews for my product yet, or, you know, it's a brand new service. There's nothing that I can do. Well, that's not true either. You can actually essentially walk people through your process, ask them to give you a review. You can give your product to friends and family, get them to give you a review. There are ways that you can get this social proof on your page. And then obviously, as you scale, as you get those more reviews, you can just keep on adding. But the one thing I would say is do not leave any of your pages without social proof. So here's an example, something I very, very typically see. Um, a store, um, very typical kind of looking store. This particular one is a jewelry store. And on here, you'll see that there is literally no social proof at all. So ideally what you want to see, especially on a home page, is going to be at the very least the star rating whether that's the trust pilot stars or just your gold stars, whatever it might be, is you want that star rating um, because it's instantly recognizable. As soon as I land here, I think, ah, okay, other people are using this. You know, that's what I want to do. You can get a uh, review above the fold if you want to as well on your homepage, but at the very least, you need to get that star rating. Now, as it happens, there's a few bits missing here. So if you watched any of our other videos, you'll know that we follow the ADA principle. Now, within that principle, what it means is above the fold, you're going to capture everyone's attention, pique their interest, and then create desire. So you need to have a separate section, which actually is dedicated entirely to your social proof. Without it, you will literally be harming your conversion rate. So let's look at how some other people do it and how they do it well and how they don't do it so well. Let's look at Snow, big brand, um, really nice. They've got the star rating here. And what they've done is they've cut off the edge of the star. Now that's quite interesting because we have stats that show us that if you've got 4.8 or 4.9 or even 4.5, it actually typically converts better than when you say five stars. Now, you might genuinely have a product that is five stars, but the data is just telling us that people seem to find it more authentic when, um, you know, when it is around that sort of 4.8 figure. So that's a super interesting little fact for you, but love the fact they've got this here. They could elongate this as well to do this a little bit better. They could say, you know, um, uh, da, 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 uh, 1,036 reviews or whatever rating out of 1,036, you know, um, happier, smilier clients. I'm really not a copy person, but essentially something more emotive, something that implies that these people are really happy as well as the fact that they've given their star rating. Now, what they could do is, you know, they've got all this wasted real estate over here as well. They could easily get an actual review on this page. And there's a certain way that it, you know, ideally would be laid out. And I'll come to that shortly. Let's have a look, see if they've got any further. This is fantastic social proof. This is really, really good. And the reason for that 
that is because it's so authentic. These are not models. These are genuine images. And that's one of the key things that you want to remember when you're displaying your social proof. Always have an authentic image to go along with it. Very often, even on Amazon, you'll look for those reviews where you can see the photos that go alongside it. So please make sure you get some authentic images to go along with those reviews. Um, and then they lead down into the bottom. Huel, another good example. Obviously a very, very big brand, um, instantly recognizable. We all know Huel. And if you have a look, let's see. So great, they have the Trust Pilot. Now, personally, I love the Trust Pilot one just because I think it stands out so much. Um, to be honest, if if we were them, we would recommend that they actually relocate this and had this much higher on the page because you want to see that visible social proof the moment you land on a page. So basically, when you land, Ideally, if your page is, you know, spot on, we should be able to know what your product is, how much it is, um, what's it going to do for me, how easy is it to get, can I trust you, and are other people using you? Now, all of that can be encapsulated in a hero section, but one of the key things in that is, are other people using you? So ideally, they'd just relocate that a little bit higher. Then as we go down, have they got another section? Let's have a look. They do. So they've got the nice app. Now, obviously, there's loads of different um, apps you can have for your reviews and they display in kind of different ways. This one looks really nice. But again, you know, if they could get those ones with images, it would make a huge difference to their conversion rate. And again, here, I think we've got some sort of Insta stuff. This is also another form of social proof. So really uh, quite well done there. But there are some tweaks even for people like Huel. So let's have a look at this one. This is uh, an example of a store that we actually had a hand in as well. Um, but I just want to show you again, like, you know, on your hero section, you've got the star rating, very, very clear. And then as we go through the page, what we should have is a nice distinct uh, social proof uh, section. So as you can see, again, different type of app, but still displays beauty. But look how these people, these guys are using the images of their product to actually really sell it with the reviews. So if possible, like I keep stressing, make sure you get the uh, authentic image to go along with your review. Now, this is a mock-up of a sales page that we've done. Um, it's literally, like I say, just for kind of like educational purposes. But as you can see, we've got the star rating above the fold. If you're doing a sales page, it's absolutely crucial and on a product page that you get this content nice and high and as soon as you land. So give us that nice star rating, get yourself a, um, a testimonial above the fold. And within that testimonial, there's certain components that you also need to include. So for example, you would have the image here, the text, the name, and the star rating that they're giving. So don't just have the text on its own. Very often we see that it's just text in speech marks and people just don't believe them. So again, it's all about creating authenticity, showing other people are using it. And also it's that element of trust as well. So it kind of crosses between the, uh, the trust and the social proof um, principles. So if we go down, we should have a nice little review section. And here again, looks slightly more emotive see what our happy customers are saying about us wherever possible keep it like keep it impressive keep it happy and emotive and again we need those components so you would want the authentic image obviously this is stock whatever their actual words are, their full name, if possible, and their star rating. Now, guys, this, you know, I know I'm literally just saying use social proof, use social proof, <laughs> use social proof. But honestly, it's so crucial to the conversion of your pages. If you are not utilizing it, you are literally leaving money on the table. So just remember, on the hero section for a home page, you would want at the very least your star rating. On a product page, you can get your star rating and a testimonial above the fold. Sales page, again, testimonial and star rating above the fold. And then on every page, you should have this distinct social uh, proof section. Um, and wherever you can use those kind of like Instagram reels at the bottom if it's within your site as well. So super quick video, um, essentially me saying to you, go 
guys, please, please get social proof on your pages. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shout and don't forget to sign up to our Facebook group and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I shall see you on the next video.